Nicole is not joining me today. She is running off in the dining room for school. Um, so I thought today's topic is perfect because many of your kiddos are probably home doing virtual school and you might be working at home and trying to balance all of that. And then when it's lunchtime with different schedules, it makes it a lot easier if you have lunch ready to go for everyone. And we wanna focus on making it a healthy lunch, a tasty lunch, a lunch that your kids are going to love. Um, and we're gonna focus on the My Plate. When you're having any meal, including lunch, you wanna make sure you're hitting all five of the food groups. Now, when you go into the grocery store and you go into the aisle where they have Lunchables, if my kids have never had a Lunchable, um, I kind of think they're gross and um, unhealthy. Um, there's a lot of sodium, there's a lot of preservatives, there's, um, and just the thought, the first thing that we're gonna make, I know they have a Lunchable that is crackers with cold sauce and cheese so they can have pizza. Um, so here is a super simple version of pizza that your kids will like. You can take an English muffin. I didn't have any English muffins. I have a brioche roll. So I put this in the toaster oven, just I lightly toasted it already. And all I did was open up a can of tomato sauce. If you have leftover sauce from dinner from the night before, that's a great way to kind of plan ahead and use ingredients that you have on hand. So we're just gonna add a little bit of tomato sauce on top of the toasted roll. Okay, and if you have shredded cheese, it could be any kind, of course I have the traditional moss. Um, I have fresh left over, so I am going to put that on top and that's gonna be nice and gooey and creamy. The cheese is a great source of calcium and we're gonna kind of load that on there. And I'm just gonna put this into the toaster oven. Okay, we'll let the cheese melt on that one. So we have Lunchable one, it'll be done in a minute. Okay. Okay, so now the traditional Lunchables that you see with cheese and lunch meats and sweet treats. When my daughter was in school, she would always take a homemade lunch with her and I had gotten this Yum Box. This cute, it's really a compartmental um, box, Pla safe plastic, it can go into the microwave, and she would have a little variety. Um, sometimes they call them bento boxes. You can take a container that has dividers in it. If you don't have a container that has dividers in it, you can just take a regular container. This was recycled from uh, takeout food. And cupcake liners. They come in all different colors. This one I'm gonna make today for my son. It has baseballs on it. Um, he loves playing baseball. So my kids love ham, and I like, and Nicole likes turkey too. Turkey or chicken is a leaner lunch meat, um, but you wanna make what they're going to like. So my kids do like ham. I try to buy the low sodium version of ham, so we're getting less, um, less sodium in the diet. And what you do is just take a piece now I'm not using bread, Jack is not a big sandwich eater, so I'm just going to roll up my ham into strips and I'm just gonna cut it in half so they're just bite sized. So I'll arrange some of them, some of the ham in the plate. This is also good if you're coming into the end of the week and you still have to go food shopping and you don't have any bread left, you can just make this like a true Lunchable without the bread, but add some crackers. So, one of Jack's favorite crackers is Cheez-Its. I did buy, they do make whole grain Cheez-Its. So these are whole grain Cheez-Its. I'm gonna sprinkle them into his, into his box. And I've also pre-cut up some vegetables. Um, I have pre-cut carrots that I sliced earlier, and I washed and sliced yellow peppers, which are Nicole's favorite. So I'm going to add some carrots to make sure he gets his vegetables, and I'm gonna put that into the cupcake tin. Actually, I'm gonna put the cheese back in here. And this just makes, you know, it just makes it 
fun. It makes it feel like they're having lunch when you're at home. And then for some fruit, my kids love grapes. Um, these are nice and fresh and plump, so we're going to put some grapes in there as well with the carrots. All right, Jack, you want to come check out your lunchbox? All right, he's finishing up. He's over here in the kitchen. So I have his Lunchable ready to go. And Nicole's Lunchable, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to give her some slices of ham. I'm going to give her one slice of ham and one slice of turkey. But she likes cheese. So here's a trick with the cheese. You could just roll it up. You can just roll it up like that so they have little rolls. Okay, and everything is bite size. Or what I love to do, and you know I, I've done this in other lives, is to take little mini cookie cutters. So you can make little mini sandwiches and make them into shapes. I'm just going to push it down on the cheese and have a little treat for her. Heart-shaped, heart-shaped cheese that I'll put on top. Oop, you can't see that. I'll take a picture of it so you guys can see what that looks like. And I'll give her a turkey roll. Oh, let's check our pizza. Almost melted. I don't want that pizza to burn, right? So here is our turkey roll. I'll put the cheese in the middle. So we have our lean protein. We have our dairy. Okay. And then Nicole likes the yellow peppers. So I'm going to put some yellow peppers and a carrot for her. And she likes to dip. She really enjoyed the hummus that we had made a few weeks ago. So this was store bought. So I'm just gonna put a little in one of the compartments here for her. So if you have kids that love to dip, that's what's great about the compartmental containers is that you can fill it with whatever they like to dip. Come on in, Jack, say hello. So I made this for him and I have a sweet treat. So Jack, come here. He never joined us before. This is my son, Jack, he's in sixth grade. So he has his ham rolls, he has his carrots and grapes, he has Cheez-Its, and then for a sweet treat, and a little love for mom, a Hershey kiss. Here you go, bud. What we are eating now? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we have Nicole's dips. So what I love about the, the Yum Box is this little tiny compartment here that I always put a sweet treat in, and Nicole does like dried fruit, so if your kids like dried fruit, that's a great yeah. healthy sweet treat because it's sweet, but you're getting um, a serving of fruit. So I'm gonna put in two apricots for her, and I'm also gonna give her a little Hershey kiss, a little sweet treat of love. So that is her lunch right here, okay? I'll take a picture of that and I'll show it to you. Our pizza should be ready. And it's nice and it's warm and the cheese is melted. So this is a whole lot better than crackers with cold sauce. Um, and then also for dipping, um, we get these whole grain tortillas that actually have quinoa. They're quinoa chips and corn chips. So I'm gonna add that to Nicole. So she has a crunch. So she has some whole grain in her lunch and she could dip it in the hummus as well with a few pretzels maybe. So you can really just have fun with whatever you have on hand. Um, the idea is to, again, just focus on my plate so that you're getting all the servings, protein, whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and dairy, that it's colorful and fun for your kids. Um, so here we have Nicole's option. We have our homemade pizza. And if you don't have any of these supplies, like I said, sometimes you come in for the end of the week. If you don't have a cookie cutter, but you want bite-sized pieces, string cheese. Just make it fun, cut it up into little circles. Again, it's bite-sized for the little ones. If you don't have any fresh fruit, these little um, containers of applesauce are perfect and it's in its own container. So you can have your container, you can have your compartment of applesauce, and then you can have your sandwich or chips or whatever you're adding to it. So these are just some fun ideas. Um, like I said, everybody has the cupcake holders on hand to make your life easy. Slice up your vegetables. They'll last in the container all week. Just cut up the favorite vegetables, cucumbers, 
celery, color peppers, carrots, have that ready to go so that when it's lunchtime, the kids have a meal and you're not stressing because you're also trying to work and balance um, your schedule and, and if kids are on multiple lunch schedules. I'm lucky they're gonna both be at lunch at the same time, so it will be a lot easier. They are getting little breaks throughout the day and they're like all hungry. So again, have fruit cut up, yogurt, um, the little mini applesauces, those are all good choices if they want a quick snack um, in between their virtual breaks. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that gave you some fun ideas and I hope that you and your kids have a very um, safe and happy school year ahead. Join us next week. We're kind of taking the, um, September actually is Family Meals Month, so we're gonna focus a lot on family meals. My focus on the Fridays is to make your life easy with meal planning ahead. So we're gonna make mason jar salads next week and that's gonna be a great way to pre-have a salad, healthy lunch, ready to go that you can just dump in a bowl and eat when you're ready to have. So I'll see you next week. Happy Labor Day.